But we are actually uh, breaking away from the new maps, just for a little bit of a buffer. Um, and I've opted to give these guys um, equal footing. For the best of one to determine ranks three and ranks four. We'll see how this plays out. So, nice little back gold for Zonius, who is on his Greeks. And let's see if uh, game video um, has a back gold as well. I'm hoping there's one here or maybe there. If only he can scout. Scout, you moron. I think I'm okay with one. Yeah, right there as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, I think we're good. Very, very um, equal. But each player has one front, one starting, one back gold. Uh, Zonius is a little bit better situated in terms of the back gold, but uh, this is also not bad because like um, uh, it's relatively closer to the first TC, I would say. And you can kind of have like a double TC protection. Uh, kind of create a double TC protection pocket here. So I think it's a pretty decent map for both players. Uh, so now that that's out of the way, Zonius with a uh, Spearman rush actually. Interesting. So Zonius opens, uh, anticipates the barracks open from his opponent and actually opens Spearman himself. Uh, so Zonius is 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 uh, checking around right now. I think he needs to move the spearman right now and 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 spear rush and take advantage of the fact that he he opened barracks because Gabe is playing greedy actually on Celts. So interesting, interesting move. Um, I think Zonius um, did the, made a good decision. Uh, you know you would expect Celts to to spear rush you, so he did not want to um, kind of be. In the same situation that he was against Eaglery in Tutorborg, but now that uh, you know Zonius has seen Eaglery's base and sees that he's gathering stone, yeah, there we go. There's this cue to move these guys in. He didn't open a barracks. Get those guys in and, and start pushing them off. The longer you wait, like the longer he's able to keep on gathering uh, from these deer with hunting dogs. So this is an unfortunate one, but yeah, like you want to let them get. Yeah, I picked. Uh, just it's a best of one, Rakim, and you know both players have had a long day, and I just wanted to give them a nice little familiar home map. You know, I also wanted to like break a little bit of a buffer between this game and then the finals, which are going to be going back to all the new maps again, right? So, okay, so that is taken care of. Uh, so actually, if Zonius can get a house. Uh, then I, actually, never mind. Game view is already H2. Never mind. I'm, I'm smoking crack. Oh, nice little micro there from Sonyus to move it out of the way, but just not in time. Uh, this house is not going to go down because now the villagers are repairing it. So uh, I, don't, I don't think Sonyus wants to throw away Spearman. But I think his job is done. He has pressured. He has found this second gold mine. So now um, Game Video has to place it uh, yeah, somewhere here. Or, I mean, this is a risky move either way from game video to, to place this while a spear rush is active. So very ballsy move from him to do this. Uh, but he may get away with it because Zonius is, is not just there yet. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, so I think <laughs> this is now spotted by... Um, yeah, a little house, a little house wall coming in from game video. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have enough wood to drop another, but he was able to buy some time. And let's see if a villager, one villager does go down. Um, but I think that's an okay price to pay because Zonius loses a bunch more spearmen. Yeah, and the house wall is destroyed. However, empty queues for a game video because no food. So yeah, Zonius with a three villager lead and it's going to keep growing, I think. So even though 
Uh, maybe Zonius was able to deny the second TC. It's hard to anyways, but just that harassment and putting game video behind uh, it was, I think, it was a good move. It was a good move. And now game video is kind of has to stay confined within his base. And Zonius can begin controlling these two exterior gold mines. No back gold for, for game video. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. Let me change that back to everyone. Um, ah, it actually didn't change back to everyone. Interesting. There we go. And now everyone. There we go. Yeah, so... Uh, risky risky move from game video to really kind of ignore uh, the spear rush or not do a spear rush himself. Uh, nice little second TC from Zonya. Secures that forward gold. Uh, he is starting to create Hepaspis. Uh, in this case, that is now the right choice. I think uh, Ceres and Hepaspis will absolutely demolish uh, Celts in H2, actually. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, you can, like, you people uh, playing Greeks are typically scared of Celts because they think of Road Raiders and they think about their Tuxodi ball getting countered. Um, but you can just literally end the game in H2 because Hepaspis and Ceres are. Uh, Stronger than anything Celts have in H2. And the thing is, like, you, you make series because you're making Tuxodes as well. And in H2, the only thing that Celts have to go against Tuxodes is Slingers. And if they make Slingers, you make series. And then it's kind of game over. And you have a big bulk of Hippaspis soaking up Slinger damage and doing well against Spearmen and long swords, um, the Greek army definitely quite superior to uh, Celt in H2. But we'll see how this plays out. Uh, so Game Video did go for a greedy, greedy build, and we'll see if he continues on that path. Doesn't seem it like right now because he he's built two barracks. Um, I would expect for him to go to a fast H3, um, investing in druids as well. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Does have some cool-looking long swordsmen. I think this is the Norse uh, heroic Norse. Oh no, Nor yeah, heroic Norse helmet. Yeah, there it is. He's got a summer shield and he's got a Hades weapon. And what does he have here? Black cat weapon and heroic Roman helmet for the druid. So Zonius does pick up some information here. Archer range going down for a game video. So it looks like we are going to see some slinger business here. Um, either another archery range. Yeah. So we're definitely going to see some slingers come out. Um, but Zonius is kind of preparing for that. Making a ton of hypaspas. Really, again, no conditioning. It's just such a huge, huge bonus, Zonius. If he... Looks back at this video, please do not forget to get conditioning. It's even buffed. Look how cheap it is. It's just 50 food and a 20 second research time. And it makes you, all of your units train 30% faster and makes them faster. So it really, it's a huge, huge bonus. So let's see what game video decides to do with this army here. Um, he could go for like a Mista style gameplay, go for like a very mobile army and raiding from multiple different directions, or he can just play like in the standard way and get uh, yeah get like a slinger ball, long swordsman, etc. Uh, 45 villagers to 46, so villager count pretty equal, but uh, game video slipping in population. Conditioning is yeah. See even Psychosaurus knows. Conditioning is is excellent in. Um, in PvP, like it's such a, it's it, it got recently buffed, became much cheaper. I think it used to be like 150 food, and now it's like 50 food, which is just insane. So really, this would be the first thing you get, unless there's already five lancers in your base. In that case, sure. Oh, scout goes down for Zonia. So nice little pickup from from game video. So he is gonna go around with this bit of a scouting army here. Uh, only one slinger though. Um, so if, uh, yeah, if Zonius responds with this force right here, I think these guys are going to have a tough time possibly dealing with this army. Uh, but we'll see, because there is Druid healing. And there's 12 long swords, um, and we'll see how that works out. It looks like we're about to have our very first engagement here. Oh, game video does spot it in time. Um, and loses one unit, and 
is more, almost mortally wounds the second long swordsman. So good little reaction from from Zonius. He saw his scout die over there. He anticipated an attack coming from there. So uh, good. Uh, but in the meantime, game video just woo. That's a lot of slingers all of a sudden. And uh, and the thing is, is that Zonius has neglected to build stables. Oh, there there's the one stable right there. Okay, okay, never mind. I apologize. Zonius does have a stable. He does have some series, and uh, he needs a lot of them like ASAP. So this is the type of army that Ceres and Hippaspis will absolutely destroy. You don't even need Tuxodes. The Tuxodes have done their job. The Tuxodes' job was to make the enemy make slingers. And now, if you transition into Hippaspis and Ceres, you're you, it's oh, it's game over for Celts. But that being said, like Zonius has infested a lot of Tuxodes now, 31. So the bulk of his damage is going to be coming from those talks. And this slinger ball is going to absolutely shred them. So we have uh, the slingers. Oh, some lag here. Uh, not not enough of reaction speed there. So a lot of villagers picked off. A lot of villagers were picked up there with that slinger raid. Zani is not reacting in time. 56 to 62. And I think that difference literally just happened over here. Tons and tons of villagers were killed. Whew. And the game video is moving out. Yeah, exactly. Moving out to the furthest reaches of the of uh of the map so he can gather all the things furthest away from him and then um get the ones closer by which are safer uh age three coming in from zonius uh let's see if there's an age up coming in from game video not not quite he does have the food does not have the gold for it just yet zonius with the age three still ahead in population but uh we'll see how this plays out any armory upgrades uh, armory upgrades in queue Ooh. Game video with the classic game video move right there. Oh man, that was rough. Game video, no, buddy. Yeah, that is exactly, I think, what Zonius is needed. And that is a horrific, like, this is every single game with game video. Yeah, it's every single game with this man. Um, yeah, so building some really small army now. 68 to 64. Doesn't matter though. We have a 60 population difference. And yeah, the army from Zonius is massive. Tuxodi champion in queue. Game video is actually the one that was getting the armory upgrades. Um, but I don't know how much these army upgrades are going to pay off right now. Let's see if he's able to come back. I did see a world raider, I think, in the mix there, but he has been claimed. Actually, no, I didn't because he's age three. Never mind. Um, so yeah, let's see how uh, game video is able to, to yeah, basically pull this off. Like the slinger ball. Okay, uh, not too bad. Not looking too bad now. Not a 60 population lead any anymore, but it's about to grow much larger because Zonius has triple TC. He is getting hoplites out. Um, the game video is nowhere near going to age three in terms of gold. Uh, getting his armory upgrades. Uh, Slinger ball still again, still here, but uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely an oof. Every single game game video has walked his army into the enemy without, uh, without fail. I think he enjoys it. He enjoys the the pain. He's a masochist, and we have a siege workshop, uh, proxy siege workshop from Zonius already. And uh, let's see if Game Video has spotted this. He has not spotted this yet, so expect to see some rams come in soon. Whew! 130 population to 156, and again, how many villagers? We got 67 to 73. So Game Video still in the lead. I think uh, Zonia should be catching up soon, hopefully. Uh, a bit low on food at the moment. Getting a Goga Disciple. A Goge. Uh, discipline, sorry, not Disciple. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> He's consistent. He consistently feeds his army into the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one priest. And I think... Okay, never mind. I thought there was going to be a round two of the same mistake uh but but uh doesn't seem like it zonius is really pulling ahead in terms of armory upgrades um 
does have a H3 uh, armor, which is interesting. Uh, game video going up to H3, still uh, villager lead by one villager, but population lead down by 30. So I want to see if game video is able to bring this back. Uh, I don't know if Slinger Champion is really going to be what he goes for. There's the H3, and that's going to be Zonius' Q to move in, um, most likely. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, huge, huge 180 population army from Zonius. Uh, but it is it is primarily a Tox ball going against the Slinger ball. So yeah, here we see Slinger Champion coming in. Yeah, so Zonius is moving in, and these Rams are going to be moving in from the side as well. Uh, definitely, Game Video needs to invest in some Woad Raiders to take care of those inevitable rams that are about to come. And obviously, they won't hurt against uh, this Tox Ball either. So, pretty mobile army actually from, from Game Video. Oh, the positioning might not be too good actually for for Zonius, but uh, I think he just has power in numbers. Uh, because this Slinger Ball has some pretty clear access to the Toxodes. Yeah, but I think. Um, the numbers advantage is just too big for Zonius. Yeah, and, and then there came the, the Rams as well from the other end. The Wood Raiders are out. But uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think this army from Zonius is just going to... Oh, oh boy. Old Raiders, are they gonna do anything here? No, I don't think so. I think it's too late, maybe. Big, big Tox Ball. Pierce 2, uh, age, uh, age 3. A horseman coming out. Um, lots, lots of Old Raiders, maybe. Never mind, it's a GG from game video. GG. Nicely done. Onyx is. No. Three. 